Bye. Yes, you. You, you, you. What is it, Captain? What is it? What are you, mate? In love with the land? I thought... You thought wrong. The mast is good. And just look at them sails. We are roaring and ready to go, so move your tail and get on board. I can't wait all day. You mean now? Right now. Goodbye to Port Said. Goodbye to Port. We're not in a port, man. Goodbye to Port. Goodbye to Roofs and Roads. Um, sir. Sir. We are sailing for the Wizard's Isle. Okay. This place is pure evil, boy. You ain't kidding, man. Boy, it's away from this dreaded island. And I've never been happier to be at sea. It's on to the neighbor's isle for us. Of course, I have no idea where we are. Don't worry, Captain. Any place is better than here. Magic's not my duffel bag, lad, but I like the cut of your jib. Thanks, Captain. What's a jib? Uh, Captain? What, lad? Well, uh... By the seas, what is it, lad? What's a jib, Captain? <laughs> I forgot about that. Maybe my memory uh, subconsciously remembered it from all those years ago. You're a strange lad, to be sure. There goes our glorious vessel. I'm on. I'm on. Boy, is that you? Thought I sent you below. How bad is it? Well, it ain't good. The wind is coming up again, and it looks like we've got another storm. This one doesn't look as bad as the first. And a good thing, too. That storm nearly broke us. Yuraz's magic must be working. Boy, that wind is fierce. Lightning or no lightning. I have it secured to the helm. All's well so far. Ha! That's been many a captain's last words. You doubt the Marari? Don't look like an afford to right now, does it? Very well, then I'll turn her into the wind. Let's hope your Marari magic is as potent as you believe it, as I should believe. All hands make sail. Prepare to come about. Tighten those sails, you dogs. We're heading into the wind. Look, it's working. Well, I'll be a mermaid's maidservant. Winds are just parting before us. Ain't that friendly? We've got clear sailing corridor right to the island. Told you it would work, Captain. So you did, boy, but I didn't believe you. Best make ready then, lad. We'll reach the island by nightfall. Bye. Arg, here we be. After that last island, this looks... well, nice. I wouldn't know if it was nice. I do know that I don't see any huge skulls. A good omen. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Drop us off on the beach and we'll see you shortly. We'll be waiting for you and your friends on board. But don't keep me waiting too long, bye. All right, fair enough. So we reach Cradwa's Isle about one o'clock in the afternoon. What day is it? Oops. What was this? Uh, it is the sixth of the late summer season, so I presume that to be August. And by the way, welcome everyone back to another episode of Rag Plays Aiden Chronicles: The First Mage, landing on Cradwa's Island, which seems to be a nice tropical little place, and there's a hut here. It looks like it's been it's collapsed due to the hurricane that we've been seeing. Can we go inside? Can't get in that way. Is there a way that I can get in though? Must be. 
around here. There's a ramp. Let's get into there and maybe see if Cradwa is still alive. Anything in? No. I suppose this is where he would have lived, but everything is pretty fucked in here. Alright, um, there's not much to be seen on this island as far as I remember, so I'm going to go around it and just see if we can find any sort of cobblestone path. This might be worth going to. I don't know what that island is over there. I was always curious about that when I was a kid. I'm going to go out and see it. Might be Chaos Isle, but I don't think so. I suppose Aleron would be calling him by name at this point, looking for him, but uh, this isn't this isn't bode well. If his house is trashed, either the storm killed him or something else. There's a cave over here. I have a quick save now that we're on here go inside and check out what's, uh, what's going on. Right, so, looks like there's portals behind this door. The lock is far beyond the ability to pick for Keelan to pick, so I assume we can't go in there yet. Um, I know we can't go in there yet, I should say. No, we're all full health, I just wanted to make sure about that before we go exploring too far. Is there anything else in this cave, though? It would be nice to find out. It seems to be pretty expansive. Mushrooms everywhere. Um, what's down this way first? I'm gonna get so lost in here, I can already tell. Ah, there's a chest over here. Keelan successfully picks the lock. What do we have? Curing potions, cool. Anything else back here? No. Let's go up here. But which way? This way? This must be the way out. Yes, indeed. I'm going to go back in temporarily because we didn't explore the other passage there. Yes, this way. Another chest. Another two chests. Okay. One successfully picks the lock. What do we got? A Sense Aura scroll. Cool. I was a character of the naming school to learn the Sense Aura spell. We already had one of those, but uh, good to have, I guess. There's that other chest. There we go. Keelan successfully picks the lock. What's in here? Curing potions. Good to have. I suppose they'd need to put these here just in case, uh... Well, just in case anything else happened, I suppose. I'm gonna go out this door and continue our search for Cradwa since he didn't take shelter from the storm in the caves, which is kind of weird. And where is this? Is this just on the other side of the island? There's the ship. Okay, here's the hut. Can we cross here? I think I'm gonna get a night's sleep and tackle it in the morning. Even so, because I don't like being around at night. And we sleep here on the foreshore. can. Good news. Pass the marshmallows. And uh, not quite morning yet. Hopefully nothing jumps us in the night and ambushes us. Good. Nine o'clock in the morning, perfect time to go exploring, so I'm gonna go back the way we came. Actually, I'll go a little bit of ways around this way to start. 
Oops. Let's try and get a lay of the land by getting up top, eh? See him better from a high position. So it doesn't appear that the island is overly big. There's that island over there. The hut, the boat is not visible from here. Where's the cave entrance? cave entrance was like right here, wasn't it? Yeah. No. But where then? No matter. Let's continue the search. I wonder if Amon has any idea we didn't actually talk to him once we got onto the island. I think we'll go do that before anything else. Is he walking around out here somewhere? Let's explore the other half of the island, then. Footsteps. You hear that? That's not good. Alaron wouldn't be able to see that, but, uh get in there. Is there a way in? Yes, there is. We're going to try and sneak in. Get a better look. Uh-oh. Well. Spirits of Earth. Spirits of Fire. can hardly th see through the smoke. Let spirits of earth and spirits of fire, with the forces of chaos, consort and conspire. Credo? We can't just stand here. There are too many to fight. But what are they? Why are they here? Let dark unfold and swallow light. Let Mistress now unfold the night. Shut up and leave him alone. What's this? Human speak. You, the one, no name, my brother, take him. Slay others now. Riveting. Okay, um... We have a fairly mundane fight, I would say, but I'm going to drop a quick save nonetheless. Now that we're in here, I'm going to move Keelan back. She's kind of in a position where that's a different type of chaos. That is a chaos mauler, I think, and I'm going to attack him first, because he's the most dangerous. Nice hit, Keelan. Archero, get over there. Nice. Air shield might be prudent for this. Cast lightning on Archero, resists the spell, fantastic. Everything's going pretty well thus far. I'm not even going to let this guy get a turn. Beacon can't reach yet, so I will go ahead and attack the sorcerer. Aleron, what can we do to make this fight a lot easier? 
Well, we can cast Stupidity. Uh, no, not that one. No, I'd rather the Warrior if I could. Ugh, can't get him. Well, I think we do Stupidity then. On everyone. Stormer will be out of the, uh, the action, at least. These other ones will have a hard time casting spells. Keelan, shoot him again. Misses. Damn it. Arturo. This is your time to be a knight. We can even take that great helm off of him. That'd be cool. 37 damage. Or get a chaos sword. I'd really like another one. Just to have one. Casting Starlight Shield, that's not good. So that Mauler is going to be a son of a bitch. He's, you know, we've been hitting him and he's only at half health. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Sword! Yes, good. Artro. Nice. Beacon. Ah, we'll kill the sorcerer, sure. Keelan? Yeah, sure, let's try it. 11 damage, that's better than nothing. Let's see if... You know what, I'm going to spread the damage, or start to. I'm going to slay all of them, I think, just for fun. Beacon. I'm gonna save that last, that big one for Alaron. Nice. Alaron, do this. Beautiful. Lock it, beacon. Drop that quick save. I remember how hard this was back in the day when I, uh, when these things were really hard to uh, to fight, I wasn't a high enough level when I came here originally, and uh, things very bad things could have happened. But I want to definitely make sure we get the right type of loot from this. So let's see what we get. I'm not gonna bother to train anyone. Let's just see what items we get. Not good enough. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Royal Plate Mail. Um, perhaps the best armor in the game, or the best, well, not, not actually, it's actually not the best armor in the game. Um, because Chaos Robes have it beat in terms of dexterity, uh, and, well, stealth. However, and Magic Resist. However, it's one more item that we have. And um, the next best thing up from this is something called Chaos Plate, I believe. And uh, it has no it has no minuses, and I believe it has 12 protection or something like that, maybe even 14 protection. Um, one step down from Royal Plate Mail is Enchanted Plate Mail, and I haven't found that yet, but I believe we get some of that off of a future party member that we can potentially pick up, so I'm not too worried about that, but this is exactly what we wanted. Rare Drop. Uh, I had to save skim a lot for this, but uh, it is indeed there, so let's go ahead and take all of that. Uh, we needed some more herbs, and we got 4,360 gold. Fantastic. Let's drop a quick save over that. Old oh, man, I'm sorry. Don't! Are you Cradwa? I've waited since Adra sent the jester who waited for you, the one whose existence was foretold, the nameless one, again, a nameless one, again. Don't talk. I have to save you. No time, child. I am destined for the earth now. Save your strength. No, I won't let you die. I do not fear the end, so long as I may be buried in the dark earth of Talawak. 
Ah, Talawak, my forsaken home. I will take you there, I promise. Take my body to the mansion near the boathouse. But talk to Adra first. She will want to know what to do. You must speak to Adra. Promise, but you aren't going to die. You aren't. Folly. Hidden in your very words, Alaron. You see, you know my name. No. No one. I did not speak your name, but merely uttered the noise that you give this plane. Your true name locks itself in the vault of stars. I might once have brought it down to give to you, but... You are too late. You have to name me. Elaborate enchantment. Try it. To understand, I'm done on this plane. And your fate now rests in the hands of creatures whose wisdom goes beyond this mere humanity. Who? The Jundar. See Zeratus. Find the desert. But beware. Go on. These creatures were the minions Rabasat and seeks you out before your powers grow <coughs> before your mind turns the abyss my mind monsters bonds in her conquest and disruption they hunger for your madness for the madness that will fall upon you you must be named she sends Pachankarat into the world to find you and bring you to her side. She wants you badly, child, to feed on your power. Fear the tear in the veil that separates the world of spirit from our physical realm. And find the other. Find the peace that joins. What are you telling me, Master? Do not be frightened by your other self. Master? A new journal entry has been added. <sighs> Tragedy. And despair. All my hopes are crushed. Chaos killed Cradwog before I could before he could name me. We must take his body to Ardra to be buried in Talawak, and then seek Zeratus of the Jundar. Maybe he can help. But where can I find him? Don't the Jundar live in the desert? How will I find them? Read podium for giving speeches, maybe? Um, what the hell are these things called? I can't remember. Topiaries of, uh, of dryads. I think it's a topiary, right? Is there anything off in this corner? No. That is severely unfortunate. Uh, Aleron would be crushed now to have come all this way for the namer to die again. Uh, it's just, it's one, one misstep after misstep, basically. One defeat after defeat. Looks like it's gonna rain, and I suppose he would want to take shelter in the cave for the night and just sleep it off since he knows there's nothing else on the island. I mean, he's checked the entire island. That was it. They must have somehow got here from, uh, maybe they invaded by boat, maybe they portaled in somehow. But, uh, Gradwall was attacked. It's moments too late. Is that entrance to the cave? 
I'll get down back onto the beach level and actually go find it. There it is there. Can I get up that way though? Yes, good. tragically limp in your arms. Sad times. There's a chest back here, as I remembered from before. Keelan successfully picks the lock. Brilliance and charming. And I don't believe we have charming yet, but uh, regardless. to activate both of these portals. Try to, at least. None of them go anywhere just yet, but uh, one of them will. Where the other one goes, or whether where it was supposed to go, maybe back to the Chaos Island and it was never implemented, but that would make sense, I think. It probably leads to that one, to one of the one of the ones over there. But uh, regardless, we should probably leave the island and get back to Port Said in all haste. We have to get to Jundar somehow. Uh, Alaron will make camp here, I guess. Get back to the boat. I thought that was a corpse for a second, it's a piece of driftwood. <laughs> Boy, the tide is high, but I'm holding on for you. But nay for long. Tide is high, and I'm holding on. I'm gonna be your number one. I'm not the kind of girl. Alright. <laughs> uh, thanks, Amon. I couldn't blame you if you left long ago. Uh, I'm not that kind of captain who gives up just like that. Ah. None of this feels real. Now, lad, don't you remember me talking about Lonely Mountain? What's that got to do with it? You were surprised I was the one to save Ramsey's life. Surprised I was a hero. But I never told you how I came to be on that hill in time to save the king. You see, just moments before, the unit I was with was attacked by a large force of goblins. The attack startled us all. We were young and we panicked a little. We tried to retreat. In a few seconds, I found myself separated from my unit and lost in the woods. 
By the time I found my way back to my unit, they were all dead. I was despondent. I felt responsible. I felt guilty for being alive. My first impulse was to give up. I thought I should never... I thought I should either hurl myself uselessly against the horde of goblins, or slink back into the woods and run away. I do not know what gave me the strength that day, but instead of giving up I found my way back to Ramsey to somehow redeem myself. I found him just as he was about to be bushwhacked by that goblin. We only fail when we lose hope, boy. Well, I suppose the best way to honor Cradwell would be to somehow find my true name. Who knows what's next? Nice moment with Beacon there. Here we are, back in Port Said. Well, lad, this is one for the captain's log. Sorry to have to... Sorry to have put your ship through so much, captain. Ah, she's nay done for just yet, lad. I knew I should have retired last year. I'm getting too old for this kind of ship. I'm tired of wasting all my precious time. But what else would you do? Well, I hear there may just be an opening in the lighthouse. Now, there's a sweet job. All the benefits of the sea with no risk of sinking. Indeed, Amon. Indeed. And he's gone, I think. Yeah. Well, I think here is as good a place as any as a stopping point as we get back in Port Sado. Oh, there's that jester. I will see you guys all on the next episode of Rag Plays, Aiden Chronicles the First Mage, where we will try and get our shit in order and see what what can be done. Get back to Talawak, Bury Cradwa, and seek Gardra's counsel on where to go from here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.